What's next in Raid MTG Jedi Edition? What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How are you doing today? We are getting prepared for what is coming in Raid. And this is essential information you need to know to start preparing right now. I'm going to go over it with you. I'm going to add a bunch of things in here that you need to know that are almost certain. And then a couple that are possibilities as well. And I think that this brand new fusion that was announced yesterday is the thing that's catapulting us in this direction. Armand's the Magnificent is the guy who signals that this is going to be true. And if, uh, if you've been following the channel for a while now, you know that I have predicted a lot of the features that have come into the game for us. Let's jump back to the beginning of this year in 2024, where I predicted these very things. All right, here's the fun one in the middle of the video here. We are going to get a new faction in 2024. I know that it's coming. Okay, I already know. I personally would love to see pirates, okay? Pirates, water-based champions, um, you know, merfolk, um, scoundrels and hooligans, and all of those types of things. Let's see now, you come here from a great distance? Yeah, I'm from the future. Aquaman, like all of those types of things, that's what I would love to see. Here in this last faction. What and I think that Armand's is the same type of champion as our dude Sato. If you've been playing long enough that you were here when Sato was entered into the game. That was before Shadowkin. And then what happened was we got Shadowkin. I don't know, maybe six months after that, maybe a year. It was pretty soon after we got Sato, then we got Shadowkin. I don't recall if there was a champion added that like kind of spoiled Sylvan Watchers coming into the game, but I did predict that faction being added to the game last year as well. Um, so I think that uh, I've shown precedence that at least I have somewhat of an idea of things that are coming, okay? Uh, I was gonna say, was it like these champions, Eurost and Akoth, that preceded the Sylvan Watchers? But I'm not sure on the timeline on that. I think that that's kind of like way ahead of time, but like that, that could be true. It could be that those two were the plants or the plants, <laughs> plants, Sylvan Watchers. Okay, I know, dad jokes. They were the precursor to Sylvan Watchers. But was there like another champion that we were like, wait, why are you in that faction? Shouldn't you be from a new faction that could be releasing? Anyway, you let me know if there's somebody that I'm missing. Uh, maybe it was like a high elf or a dark elf, something like that. But needless to say, I think that our new fusion that's coming up is going to be the precursor to our new faction. I do want to talk about him briefly, though, because I think he's a must-do fusion. I think if there's any possible way for you to complete this fusion, you need to pull out all the stops and go for this dude. He has an A1 that increases the cooldown of a random skill by two turns. His A2 steals all the turn meter of each target and places stun on those enemies. That's amazing for like Dark Fey? Come on now. And Arena? Oh, so, so many places. His A3 is going to sheep someone and then remove all the buffs from everyone else and fill his turn meter. And then he has this sick passive um, that is going to increase the cooldown of a random skill on that enemy to its max whenever a sheep debuff is removed. And he's going to fill his turn meter by 10% for each turn added to the cooldown. And then he has the speed in arena battles by 28%, which actually, if you go back in some of my older videos, I suggested we need a lot more arena battle auras. 
And so that's a, just another aspect to him that is going to make him awesome for your account. I'm very excited in 2024 that we will be getting the real clan versus clan in here. One other huge thing is clan wars. And uh, there are not going to be anything like uh, the current CVC tournaments, uh, clan versus clan tournaments good, good, that good. we have right now. So clan versus clan, we're going to be getting a real clan versus clan. That needs to be really good. So with that being said, what is it that you need to do to start preparing for these two things coming to the game? Well, uh, if you are early game, if you're, you know, level 60 or below, you just keep progressing your account. There's really nothing that you want to do other than, you know, trying to complete fusions, trying to do all of these things, uh, you know, the normal stuff that you would do to progress your account, okay? But if you have your Lydia, if you're close to having your Lydia, you want to be starting to save chickens. Yesterday I did a video um, telling you all about why champion training is so important and how I was thanking Polarium for that. Make sure you go watch that if you have not seen it. With that being said, um, I would start making chickens, saving resources, and preparing for these things that are going to be coming in the game. Because I think once we get all of these, uh-oh, Allure died. And Kale died. Oh, no. Um, once we get all of these things in the game, once we get the new Clan Wars, once we get the new faction, you are going to want resources to level up a bunch of those champions. And I think all of that is coming in the next couple of months. Maybe that's going to be the summer release or possibly all the way in the fall. I hope not. But I think that that's going to be the big summer release. And I want to tell you about it now so that you can be prepared uh, to see all of that come into the game and you're ready for it. So what all resources do you want to stock up? Just basically everything, in my opinion. Like, if you don't really need to level somebody up, I would just hold off until you have the resources. You know, if you don't really need to book somebody, hold on to those. If you don't really need to ascend somebody, hold on to that. You know, anything, even silver, you know, stockpiling a bit of silver. Obviously, still play the game. Have fun. Do what you want to do. But at the same time, I would create that little bit of a buffer in all of your resources in order to prepare for these two things coming to the game. That's what I would do, um, you know, and that's so I'm going to recommend that to you. Now, if you appreciate this, uh, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. If you made it all the way into this video, you're at least curious about the potential of what's going on here. So hit that like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel as well. This is the type of video that I try to do whenever I have the information at my disposal. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys also in the comments. What do you think is coming to raid in 2024? And last but not least, what are the features that we are going to have added to the game in my prediction? I think both the tavern and the market are going to get their upgrades in 2024. I don't think we need another big content drop. All right, we have this amazing cursed city over here. We have tons of content in the game right now. What we need is quality of life. So I would be shocked if we didn't get a quality of life update in the tavern and a rework in the market. I would love to see also some other things. We know that there are the new progression missions that are going to come in here and be unlocked. I had definitely called that as well, which is super cool. Um, Plarium, just give me a shout out, bro. Like, just say, hey, thank you, MTG Jedi, for these amazing ideas. I appreciate you. But all of those things, like, that's a lot. You know, if we get a new faction, we get a new clan versus clan, and then we get quality of life updates on the tavern and the market. Oh, man, that would make 2024 absolutely amazing. I would love to see also the, the third and final thing I would love to see is going to be more filters for the gear, okay? 
Yes, we definitely need more filters here, but especially on the accessory side, we need to be able to exclude or include the specialty accessories. Right now, it is so difficult to sell accessories. And this is my free to play. Like this is just, we're super early game here and it's still hard. So without making the video too, too long, that's my uh, predictions for what's going to happen in, in 2024. What's next in Raid? That's what I got for you. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.